What's up guys, Justin here with the CGessentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna check out an add-on that helps you automate the setup of fog inside a blender. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so Alt-Tab Easy Fog is an add-on that makes it easy to set up fog inside of Blender. So um, it automates the process and it actually makes that fog creation process really easy, which is a really great feature um, because setting up fog can be a little bit of a pain. Um, so it just sets it up where you basically select your objects, then click a button. Now there's three versions of this. There's the free demo version, um, which comes with three presets. Uh, there's the personal license, which note that this is currently on sale as a part of the May Day sale um, in the Blender market, but there's the personal license and then there's the the commercial license, which you should be using if you're trying to make money. All of these are pretty reasonably priced in my opinion for what this does. But basically what this does is you wanna download it and you wanna make sure that you've installed and enabled Alt-Tab Easy Fog right here. And when you do that, you can then tap the N letter key on your keyboard in order to pop out this little menu over here and you can click on Alt-Tab Easy Fog. And so I downloaded this example model from Sketchfab. It's the Preceptory and Dower House Game Asset by Andy Woodhead. So if you wanna download this and give it a try, you can do that. This will really work with any model though. And so basically what I wanna do is I wanna come in here and I wanna select all of my objects, right? So when you bring these in from Sketchfab, they come in with different meshes like this. I wanna make sure I have them all selected because when I click on the apply fog button, what that's gonna do is it's gonna create a bounding box around everything that's selected. So I'm just gonna come in here, right click and do a select hierarchy. That's gonna select everything. And what that means is that means that I can then come in here and I can pick a fog preset. So in this case, we'll go with something kind of simple. Um, you can pick a fog preset, but then you can click on the option for apply fog to selected objects. And so notice what that's gonna do. And you can't really see it super well because I'm not in rendered mode. Um, but what that's gonna do is that's gonna create a bounding box in here that's gonna set up volumetric fog. And so this is gonna have different sliders in here that's gonna set how that fog is set up. Now I'm gonna jump over in just a second to rendered mode so you can see what this does. I'm just kind of messing around with the details just so you can kind of see what they do. So you can set like the height um, from the bottom and then to the top as well. Um, you can also adjust things like the color, but you're not really gonna see this result until you jump over into rendered mode. And so I'm gonna jump over here and hopefully this doesn't crash my, uh, hopefully this doesn't crash my screen recording software because it doesn't like it when I switch over into cycles rendered mode. But if I click on this, it's gonna jump me over into rendered mode where you can see this fog. Now, notice how this is adding the fog near the bottom of the bounding box that it adds inside of this area. This one in particular is a little bit heavy, um, so we may adjust this one. It's kind of weird. Some of these give you the ability to adjust the density and some of them don't. But you can see how it's basically using a volumetric in here um, in order to create this fog volume. And so you can adjust things about the fog using these sliders in here, right? So you can adjust things like uh, the scale, you can adjust things like the color, other things like that. Um, so the scale is just going to kind of mess around with the size of the fog in here a little bit. But then down below, you've got the option to click on this bar to adjust the color. And you can click and drag on the color wheel in order to add colors, as well as lightening it or darkening it darkening it using the bar on the right hand side. And so one of the cool things about this is because of the way the fog is being created with the volume, if you add a light in here, so if I add a point light and change the color and the uh, and the strength of the light in here, notice how that light is actually going to shine through the fog, but it's not gonna shine fully through. Um, it's gonna kind of get like, uh, it's gonna get kind of like diffused through the fog, which is reducing the power the further away from the light source it is. So this creates this like kind of realistic or really realistic uh, light feel inside of the fog, which can create some really cool results. And so then over here on the right, if you adjust the from min or from max, it's going to adjust the height of the fog in your scene. So you can use this to set how high up in your scene this is going to be. Now, one cool thing about this is it's really easy to delete out one set of fog just by deleting the cube that it creates and then adding another. Oops, and I'm going to want to make sure that I've selected everything in here before I do this so the bounding box is right. Um, but 
I can click in here and I can add a different kind of fog in here. And notice how this fog looks 100% different than the fog that we had in here before. And that's the cool thing about this add-on is there's a bunch of different types of fog in here that can give you different looks and they're really easy to swap between. And so notice how some of these fogs in here are a little different. Um, like the ones that have this green fog in here, if you add this, to your object, whoops, and again, you gotta select the whole thing, um, but if you add this to your object, notice how this one actually has both a color and a density function. So you can use the density slider down below the color in order to set how thick this is. So I could adjust the color of the fog that's in here, but then I could drop down below and I could set how dense this fog is as well to allow more of my model to show through. And so some of these just have kind of a unique style. So like this one, for example, that we're gonna select, this one almost makes the fog look as if um, there's a light in the middle of the scene and you've got like beams emanating from the inside of this. So this is probably a pretty specific instance of when you might wanna create this, but it does give you a large collection of different fogs that all you have to do is just select the preset and then adjust it for what you need. All right, so that's where I'm in this video. Leave a comment below, let me know what you think about this tool. For me, the ease of use and the simplicity of adding the fog is really great with this add-on, but I'd love to hear what you think in the comments down below. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.